Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to perform an untethered jailbreak for all devices currently running iOS 6.1.3 through 6.1.5. So this will work for all A4 devices and A5 devices such as the iPhone 5. Now this iPod Touch 4th generation is running the latest build of iOS 6, 6.1.5, so it can be jailbroken. And to do that, you want to make sure that your passcode lock is turned off on your device since the entire jailbreak process will be done on our computer and we won't have to touch our device at all. Next on your computer you want to go ahead and download POSIX Pwn. I will have all the links in the description below for your convenience, both Mac and PC. And you want to go ahead and open it up and extract it onto your desktop. Then the utility will open up and it will detect your iPod Touch or your iPhone or whatever device A4 or A5 running 6.1.3 through 6.1.5 and then you can go ahead and click on jailbreak in the lower right hand corner and the entire process will begin. So first we'll begin here to gather the information and generate the jailbreak data. You won't have to touch your device at all during the entire process and this has been sped up quite considerably since it did take a little bit of time for my device. Now if you do have data on your device such as like music or applications or photos then the time will take longer than a freshly restored device. So if you do want to restore your device then do the jailbreak process and then put everything back on your device. That is one helpful bonus as it will speed up the time. And like always, make sure that you do perform a backup of your device before you begin to jailbreak just in case anything does go wrong. So we'll send the initial data here and your device will go in a restore in process mode here. And then it will begin to perform a reboot here. So like I said before, this will work for the iPhone 5. If you did hold up and not update to iOS 7 yet, then you still have that iOS 6 untethered jailbreak thanks to POSIX Pwn's new jailbreak utility. So we'll be waiting for a reboot. Make sure that you don't touch your device at all. You can slide to unlock as I do so within the next few seconds here just for the video demonstration. And I will be remounting the reboot and then setting over Cydia and the untethered package or the payload to your device. And then once that has been completed here, it will do once more of a reboot process. The Apple logo should pop up. And then after it has sent over Cydia and all of its data, you will fully have an untethered jailbroken device for any iOS device currently running 6.1.3 through 6.1.5. You should see Cydia on your open free thing here and it will prepare the file system and after about five minutes or so that should pop up say who are user hacker or developer and then you will have a fully functional Cydia working on your 6.1.3 through 6.1.5 device guys let me know if you have any questions below in the comment section below I'll try to help you out as much as possible and like always be sure to give this video a thumbs up it helps me very much and I'll see you all in the next one thanks guys